literary works from different regions in the Philippines. Philippine literature is literature associated with the Philippines from prehistory through its colonial legacies. And on to the present, pre-Hispanic Philippine literature was actually epics passed on from generation to generation, originally through an oral tradition. In a few minutes, we will watch the different literary works from Zon, Visayas, and Mindanao. We will start at Region 1. Ilocos Region Ilocos is a region in the Philippines encompassing the northwestern coast of Luzon Island. It's known for its historic sites, beaches, and the well-preserved Spanish colonial city of Vigan. Dating from 16th century, Vigan's Mestizo district is characterized by cobblestone streets and mansions with wrought iron balconies. Farther north, Lawag City is a jumping off point for the huge La Paz Sand Dunes. In Ilocos region, its literature is known as one of the most colorful regional Filipino literatures. Prior to Spanish colonial period, the Ilocano literature is purely alive in form of written and oral literature. And now, here is Pedro Bucanig, father of Ilocano poetry and literature. Acknowledged author of the epic Biag Nilam Ang, a Filipino poet. Blind since birth, but grew up as smart and talented. Known to translate prayers and sermons in local language. Although blind, he dictated the text of his poems, songs, and translations as someone wrote it down. Born March 1592 and died 1630. His works of literature are preserved to be written in history. Translated Doctrina Christiana to Ilocano, which was printed in 1593 as one of the first book in the Philippines and was intended for the use in the local population. And next, the mother of Philippine women's literature, Leonora Florentino, April 19, 1849. Poet in Spanish and Ilocano. At the age of 10, she can write poems in Ilocano and speak well in Spanish. Was really intelligent, yet she wasn't allowed to study due to her gender. She was instead tutored by her mother and a series of private teachers. Died on October 4, 1884. Her well-known literary pieces are Ruk Ronoy or Dedication na ang ngaway akablaw or good greetings nalpay anam nama or vanishing hope benigna para ken carmen panay pakada and more but we have a sample of nalpay anam nama or in english vanishing hope most of her works got lost but the preserved ones are in the Library of Madrid, Londres at Paris. Although Florentino died at a young age, her works are known not only in the Philippines but throughout Europe. She is believed to be the first Filipina recognized as a lady poet. And here is Carlos Bulosan. Born to Ilocano parents in the Philippines, in Binalonan, Pangasinan. Most of his youth was spent in the countryside as a farmer. His hometown is the starting point of his famous 
semi-autobiographical novel, America is in the Heart. And also, his works are The Laughter of My Father, The Cry and the Dedication, My Father's Tragedy, The Romance of Magno Rubio, and If You Want to Know What We Are. He left for America on July 22, 1930 at the age of 17. Up next, here is Francisco Sunil Jose, or known as F. Sunil Jose. Born in Rosales, Pangasinan on December 3, 1924. The setting of his many stories. Ilocano descent whose family had migrated to Pangasinan to flee from poverty. His influences are his mother and Jose Rizal. Critically acclaimed Filipino internationally yet underrated in his own country. His awards are Pablo Neruda Centennial Award Ramon Magsaysay Award for Journalism, Literature, and Creative Communication Arts City of Manila Award for Literature and Carlos Palanca Memorial Award for Literature His writings talk about social justice and change to better the lives of average Filipino families. Jose's works written in English have been translated into 22 languages including Korean, Indonesian, Russian, and Dutch. He is one of the most widely read Filipino writers in the English language. His novels and short stories are the peak, the social underpinnings of class struggles and colonialism of Filipino society. And now, we have the father of Pampangueño literature, Juan Isostomo Soto. Born in Bacolor, Pampanga. Known as a poet, playwright, and editor in Pampanga's dialect. Wrote Moro Moro and Sarasuela. His works are Pulat Puti, Romeo and Juliet from Shakespeare. Sigalot, considered the best and written in jail wrote an English-Spanish Pampango Dictionary with Modesco Joaquin. And lastly, we have Angela Marie Manalang, born on August 23, 1907, in Guagua, Pampanga. Settled in Bicol region in Albay. During her senior year, she moved to St. Scholastica's College in Malate, Manila, where her writing started to get noticed. Was among the first generation female students of the UP, or the University of the Philippines. And now, we will go to the festivities throughout Region 1. And first, here is the Viva Vegan Festival that is celebrated in the first week of May in Vegan City. And up next, here is Longaniza Festival on January 22 also in Vegan City. The Guling Guling Festival. It is in the eve of Ash Wednesday in Pauai, Locos Norte. The Feast of the Senora de Manawag in Holy Week. 
at Manawag, Pangasinan. We also have the Pistay Dayat Lingayen. It is celebrated on May 1 in Pangasinan. And lastly, the Bangus Festival in the Gupan City, Pangasinan. And now, we will go to the Visayas, the Central Visayas. Central Visayas are in Cebuano, Tungang Tungang Kabisayan, and in Filipino, Gitnang Kabisayaan. It's a region in the Philippines numerically designated as Region 7. It consists of four provinces, Cebu, Bohol, Negros Oriental, and Siquijor and three highly urbanized cities Cebu City Lapu-Lapu City and Mandawa City Major islands are the eponymous Cebu Bohol and Siquijor together with the eastern part of Negros. The regional center is Cebu City. The region is dominated by the native speakers of Cebuano. The island province of Bohol. The island seems to have even more history than usual of long and bitter fighting against foreign invaders, Spanish, American, and Japanese. Its capital city is Tagbilaran City. This represents the concept of blood brotherhood between Miguel Lopez de Legazpi and Sikatuna, or known as Blood Compact. Cebu Cebu is a province of the Philippines located in the Central Visayas, Region 7, and consists of a main island and 167 surrounding islands and islets. Its capital is Cebu City, the oldest city and first capital of the Philippines, which is politically independent from the provincial government. The Cebu metropolitan area is formed by seven neighboring cities such as Karkar, Cebu, Danao, Lapu-Lapu, Mandawe, Naga and Talisay. Cebu is one of the most developed provinces in the Philippines with Metro Cebu being the second largest metropolitan area in the Philippines after Metro Manila. And we have Negros Oriental also called Oriental Negros or Eastern Negros, is a province located in the region of Central Visayas in the Philippines. It occupies the southeastern half of the large island of Negros, with Negros Occidental, comprising the northwestern half. It also includes Apo Island, a popular dive site for both local and foreign tourists. Negros Oriental faces Cebu to the east across the Tanyan Strait and Siquijor to the southeast. The primary spoken language is Cebuano and the predominant religious domination is Roman Catholicism. Dumaguete City is the capital, seat of government and most populous city of the province. 
It is the second most populous province in Central Visayas after Cebu, the fifth most populous province in the Visayas, and the 19th most populous province in the Philippines. And lastly, we have Siquijor. Siquijor is a fifth provincial income class island province of the Philippines located in the Central Visayas region. Its capital is the municipality also named Siquijor. During the Spanish colonial period of the Philippines, the Spaniards called the island Isla del Fuego or the Island of Fire. Siquijor is commonly associated with mystic traditions that the island's growing tourism industry capitalizes on. To the north of Siquijor is Cebu, to the west is Negros, northeast is Bohol, and to the south across the Bohol Sea is Mindanao. At this point, the literary works in Region 7. To start off, here is Sikala and Sikavai, a Visayan creation myth. Next one is the legend of Dumaguete, or known as Catalina of Dumaguete. It is a story of the faith and hope of the people of Dumaguete during the times when their land is in trouble. Up next, here is Fernando Buiser Aquino. Fernando Buiser, also known as Floripinas, was born in Kalunangan, Leyte, on the 30th of May, 1879. He died in Mainit, Surigao, on the 16th of November, 1946. He was known as a poet, fictionist, and playwright. He worked as an elementary school teacher in San Isidro Leyte. Buiser was one of the pioneers in compiling and studying Visayan folklore, publishing Awit sa Kabukiran or Song of the Fields in 1912, Mga Sugilanong Karaan or The Old Stories in 1913, and other folkloric texts. He owned a publishing house, wrote Aglipayan tracts, and edited Aglipayan periodicals Yutang Natawan, founded in 1904, and Ang Salampati, 1920-1924. One of his poems is the Ang Among Kabantang. Next one is Our Pride, translated by Juliet B. Samonte. It is all about courage from cruel ruler or dictator. People are equal and must unite against the ruler to attain freedom. Up next is Rene Estela Amper's Letter to Pedro. U.S. citizen and also called Pete. Here is Marcel M. Navarra, also known as the father of modern Cebuano literature. He was born in Tuyom, Cargar City, Cebu. He spent most of his life 
writing almost 80 short stories which were published in Cebuano magazines. His famous story is The Clay Pipe. Let's go to the Visayan folk songs. First is Usahay, in English, Sometimes. Let's listen to a few lines of the song Usahay. And the next one, Matud Nila. Let us also hear a few lines of the song. Matud Nila, ako We also have Tigmo or Riddles. Here are some of the examples. Finally, Davao Region, formerly called Southern Mindanao. Davao Region is an administrative region in the Philippines, designated as Region 11. It is situated at the southeastern portion of Mindanao, comprising five provinces, Compostela Valley, Davao del Norte, Davao del Sur, Davao Oriental, and Davao Occidental, the newly created province. The region encloses the Davao Gulf, and its regional center is Davao City. Davao is the Hispanicized pronunciation of Daba Daba, the Bagobo word for fire. Let's go to the great writers in Davao region. To start off, here is Ricardo M. de Umria. Ricardo is a founding member of the Philippine Literary Arts Council or the PLAC and the Union na mga Manunulat ng Pilipinas. Up next, we have Tita Lacambra Ayala, an Ilocano by birth relocated to Davao in the mid-50s. Her writer's engagement coming to include school journalism and working for a pineapple canning factory. She broke through in 1960 with Sunflower Poems, a slim first book of chipboard printed poems. Her famous works are The Pieces of String and Other Stories and Camels and Shapes of Darkness in a Time of Olives. 
Lastly, we have Aida Rivera Ford. Born in Sulu, crossed over to Negros Oriental in 1949 for an English degree at Silliman University. Records toast her as the first editor of Sands and Coral, the school's literary folio. In 1954, she flew to the University of Michigan on a Fulbright grant to secure her master's degree in English. Her famous literary work is The Love in the Corn Husk. And that concludes our presentation about the literary works from different regions in the Philippines.